Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. As we now do the rendezvous mission with Kerrigan going to go look for Jimmy. Destroy the Draken Pulse Cannon. The new unit we will have is the Swarm Queen. It is a support unit. Its big thing is to spawn creep tumors. Creep tumors will make creep spread. You know, that purple stuff we saw from Zerg in Wings of Liberty. That stuff. It can also heal friendly Zerg units using rapid transfusion. It takes three drones to optimally harvest a single mineral field or vestment geyser. Having enough harvesters is vital to building a powerful army. Uh, we know this already. We knew that with the SCVs and it's the same for drones and later for Protoss, it'll be the same for probes as well. At least, probably. <laughs> Who knows, maybe an upgrade or something in Legacy of the Void. I wouldn't know. That will be blind. Scanning. Detecting Dominion forces and a Zerg hive cluster. Yeah, there must be an old hive here. I'm more worried about the Dominion. Ground team, this is Fleet. What is your status? Fleet, our base is set up and the Dragon Pulse Cannon is almost online. Roger that. Eliminate all stragglers as they warp to these coordinates. We'll return for you. Lead out. That cannon will take out Jim's ship as soon as he enters orbit. He'll never see it coming. Set course for the Zerg Hive Cluster. I need an army. There we go. Can't have that. And we need an army, so there's a old Zerg Hive Cluster here. I can sense a mind controlling this brood. Who are you? My queen, I am Nakjul, a brood mother. You created us to extend your control of the swarm. Have you returned to us? I'm not your queen and I haven't returned. But I need your brood to destroy the Terran cannon right now. Most of my brood is with me. I can send them to you, but it will take time. Then send them. When they arrive, we'll tear down that cannon before Jim gets here. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare this hive for combat. The Dominion would have tracked my ship and they'll be looking for me. The Kerrigan still has a lot of pool. Remember, she was with the Queen of Blades. Alright, hold out for reinforcements. We will be getting reinforcements. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. The first thing I need is a spawning pool. Correct. And you'll be, slowly but surely, we'll be getting more stuff here. I love this. It's, okay, first thing I need, let's see if I remember how to do this. It's great. And she's correct. The first thing we want is a spawning pool. This will let us make zerglings. And some other stuff, but most importantly for me, zerglings. <laughs> we have a few... Overlords, so I don't have to worry about supply right now. Let's make more drones. It'll be just like making more SCVs. We're making more so we can get more minerals. Now, there is no Q order for this because each larva is a. is a. is a. will be a drone or whatever you decide to make. So instead of having to wait for one marine at a time, we can make multiple. It's just that we have to wait for more larva to pop up. Uh -oh. Kerrigan. She's holed up in a Zerg base. We're going in. Send reinforcements. The Dominion found us. They're going to hit us hard. Now this is cool. You have two different rally points. You have a rally point for workers and a rally point for units. Your biggest asset here is Kerrigan herself. I remember spine crawlers. I can mutate them from drones. Spine crawlers are great. We've seen just how dangerous they are when they hit us as Terrans. Well, now we're going to make some for our for ourselves. Remember spine crawlers hit 25, 30, that's more than I remember. 30 versus armored have a range of 7. Um as we go through this some things will be different. 
uh, because there were balance changes that I think got put in for Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of Void, some things will be different as well. Over there, we can do that. What is it? Pushing ahead. Ready for action. Sweeping. Heading out. Some Work minerals, that's good. What we want to do is set this to two. That way we can make more zerglings. Also, Overlord. <laughs> and Kerrigan and the troop we have right now. Uh, I don't have enough for this. You can stop. Look at that. That's not a bad starting army, is it? Let's bring these back. This is Kerrigan. There we go. Now we have quite a few Zerglings. Ah. You can stop that right now. Just bad timing. Yeah, we can have it auto-cast, which is what it's going to yeah, be doing now. Okay, let's get another spine crawler. These things are great. And let's upgrade uh, you count as ranged. You can tell by the picture. See the picture here? Oh. Thought you could. My bad. <laughs> Oh, that's uncool. Storm Queens can hit air and ground. They don't do a lot of damage. Their main thing is to act as support and also make more creep. Safety's off. Two, three. Oh, you want us to make a queen. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you need 150 um, minerals and 50 gas. And two supply. I have supply now. Let's go. There are more zerglings in this cave, my queen. In case you try to pull that again. These are gonna say hello. Dominion approaching from the north. Okay, all of you with me, since we're going to the north anyway. Hello! You can stop, because we know Hellions can roast Zerglings. The Goliaths can go away. More Zerglings! Get rid of the fire bat because no. <laughs> We're playing Zerg now. Fire bats are a no. You have recovered part of the brood. Rise, my children. Come to me. All of you with me. Covering ground. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's evolve melee attacks and armor, and also make some more defenses. Remember, the biggest thing with Zerg building, whenever you build something, you have to make a drone to replace the one you just used. Oh, where's Kerrigan? Actually, that should be... Oh, no. 
Ready for action. You can also click on Kerrigan up here to, to do that. Get out. Even the odds here. Remember, they can also heal structures. It just takes um, just takes energy. Also, Zerg structures heal over time. Don't forget that too. Here's Rainer's dropship. And whenever you're going to make a structure, it's like, okay, I need to make a. I need to make a drone to replace what the one I just used. And we'll make another two swarm queens to help heal. These need to get energy. What is it? The uh, missile attack upgrade will work for these. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those men. <laughs> so you see, like, the spine, and then here you see spines. I don't remember how you upgrade them. I think... I think they count as missile attacks. There is a large Dominion force on its way to the high cluster. Ready for action. There is. This is true. I can see them. There we go. No problem. Say again. You don't fit there. That's a shame. I'm gonna put one here. Mutation complete is what you hear when one of your upgrades is done. So, you know, upgrade complete. You'll hear that. Because they're evolving. It's, it's not like Terran where it's like, oh, we're giving them better weapons. We're giving them um, better armor. Here, the Zerg is evolving. It makes sense, right? There are more so now plus one. In this cave, my queen. Say again? All right, let's go there. Or Work it would be, be probably this way. Covering ground. Sweeping. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I hear you. Checkpoint reached. The Zerglings will make it there first. Oh, the others can't go that way. Hopefully the Zerglings will be okay. Hey, there's a base there. The Dominion's base is formidable. You will need to morph more combat units to destroy it. Getting out. Yeah, that's not going to go well because everything got split. Whoops. We have plenty of minerals, right? Yeah, it's fine. More Zerg things. Yeah, I hear you. All Zerg things that went up there got destroyed. We'll, we'll have to deal with that later. Pushing ahead. Right now, we'll just we'll just hold out. Let's make you a friend.
They say worms, right? You know how that works. If you watched uh, Wings of Liberty, anyway. And you should if you didn't watch my Wings of Liberty playthrough. I was pretty rusty, honestly, but I still think I did an alright job. More Zerglings. <laughs> Zerglings just take 50 minerals. And you get two. Sure, they only hit melee and they do five normally. Six with the upgrade. And they have zero armor. Plus one because we did the upgrade. But uh, they're cheap. You can throw them in mass. Does help you if there's flamethrowers and stuff around. But <laughs> there's, you know, stuff like this around. So that's a fun little trick that you saw the uh, them do, because I don't think we were able to do that. I don't think we could transform them. Could we transform them in Wings of Liberty? I don't remember if we could do that. Um, basically, the Hellions can transform into slower uh, Hellbats. They're like, and they become like Fire Bats. Uh, slower, but more health. Uh, kind of a neat trick for the Hellions there to give them more options. Look, more circles. <laughs> Just remember, spine crawlers hit ground, spore crawl crawlers hit air. You can also uproot them and have them move around, which is useful. I know, get out of here, Wraiths. Even if they cloaked, remember, spore crawlers can see. This is Kerrigan. Can see cloaked units. They're detectors. They only do 15, but they hit pretty fast. They hit as fast as a Marine. Uh, plus, they have a range of 7, which isn't bad. Now, you don't make swarm queens from the from the larva. They come from the hatchery itself. Oh, that's not cool. I see you there, siege tank. Kerrigan's great to use against them. Just do the 300 shot. Hi. I still have to deal with that sea chain. Where's Kerrigan? What is it? Oh, they're gone. Great. If you wish to command all of your forces in battle, there is a way to control them all at once. Select army. Yeah, you select the army here. And you can collect that. Which is very useful for Zerg, because, well, you're gonna have a big army. I don't think they'll be able to get there to that. No. That's a shame. Attack! And this is what Zerg does. Zerg swarms you. Like this. Sure, you're going to lose units. But guess what? You have more units than they do. Now the fire rats are a problem. We want to kill them quickly. Because they can hit multiple units. Anything with splash, fire... Anything that can hit more, more than one thing at a time, you want to get rid of quickly. And that numbers are the name of the game. I gotcha. We, I'll have like, it's not an advanced tactic. It's an advanced from basic, I guess you could say, a uh, tactic for, for Zerg later. I'm sure somebody in the comments will already point it out, but you know, uh, I need to get up here. <laughs> now attack. Yeah, 
And that's it. Make a defense. Continuously make Zerglings. Uh, try to get the reinforcers you can. They'll give you a good, a good amount of zerglings. Also, more will show up just as you go through the battle. We've almost hit limit. <laughs> Clearly, the advantage is yours. <laughs> you have enough zerglings. Just make sure to have some base defenses, and you'll get through this. After the reinforcements show up, you have the numbers advantage. They don't. They don't have enough to stop you. If you feel like you're getting low, oh no! Make more zerglings. That's what you do. Of course, later we'll have other units at our disposal. But for now, you just make make more zerglings and some swarm queens. That'll they'll help heal. Also, don't worry about losing Kerrigan. That may be something you think about. It's like, oh, I gotta be careful with Kerrigan. You should still be careful, but if Kerrigan dies, it's not game over or anything. She will rehatch from the hatchery. She'll respawn. And I think it's a minute, 60 seconds. That's a no, get out. We'll have to... Narrow passes ways are not our friend. Hi! Here's Nakul. She is a fancier Swarm Queen. See, she's like a heroic Swarm Queen. Bye, Cannon! <laughs> All in all, this mission is to teach you the basics of base defense and making a starting base. back into the Queen of Blades. We will await your return. Rendezvous! Oh. Bonus objectives. Or just, yeah! Portrait, Prince Valerian. Cool. First strike. Destroy 15 enemy structures before Nectal's forces arrive in Rendezvous. Destroy before Necto's arrival. Oh, I could do that. I would just need to make a bunch of... See, I don't know. A lot of these, I won't know. Therefore, I won't have them. <laughs> I was saying I, I couldn't get them. That's doable. See, on normal, rescue all trap storm creams before the forces arrive. Okay, I would just have to run around like I was going to do, but then died. Okay, I just need to make some more forces. Hmm. Took 20 minutes. Oh, maybe in another episode, like at the end of the LP or something, we'll go achievement hunting, because that could be fun. Or I might do it on my own time. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing me go for some achievements. I don't think this one's hard. I just stayed in the base for the most part. Just playing base defense. So I would just not do that. I would just run run to go hit buildings instead. You can do that. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me go after some achievements. And I could definitely do that.
Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed. Travel. Select a planet. And we will do that next time. With Rainer gone, the one thing that... Well, two things that Kerrigan cared about was A, Jim. We all saw that. And two, she wanted to kill Minx for everything, she, for everything he did and for betraying her. <laughs> and having her turn into the Queen of Blades being captured and all that. Use all the cutscene. Well, now Jim's dead. So Kerrigan has one thing she's living for now, and that's revenge. Not that I would blame her. Not that I blame her on that one. If the one person I cared about the most was taken away from me, yeah, revenge is what would be on my mind, too. That's not the path you should go down but it's what's on her mind so set set to zerg space because we need an army back a a swarm next time we'll choose a planet and see what happens from there you could even hear it in kerrigan's voice you know Confirmed, where she didn't sound like Sarah Kerrigan from the first few missions. She sounded more like the Queen of Blades. Until the next episode, I'm Sundar 9 Remember to shoot for the stars. Again, leave a comment below if you'd like to see me go after a few achievements here and there in some bonus videos at the end of the LP or sprinkled in throughout the LP. Let me know. And take care, everyone.